Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And this is a video idea I've had for a while, but I thought it'd be really fun to sit down with you guys and go through a bunch of like really, really popular makeup products that I've never purchased because I've been working on this list for quite some time now and it is quite a long list. I feel like I didn't really start getting into more higher end makeup until maybe a few years ago. So there's like a lot of really like old school products and even new school products, I guess you could say, that I've never tried. So if you guys are interested in seeing some of the popular makeup that I have never bought, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, the idea that started this entire video are naked palettes. I have never once bought a naked palette that goes the original Nakeds, the Cherry, the Heat, the Honey, the Minis. I've never owned any of them. I remember when the original Naked palette came out because it was everywhere. Like I wasn't even watching YouTube on makeup products back then, but like I remember seeing the Naked palette everywhere online. And I remember having like a little Wet n Wild palette that kind of like duped Naked, one of them. I think it was maybe Naked 3, I forget. But I've never owned a Naked palette. The only one that has really ever called to me is Naked Honey. I feel like if I saw it go on sale, I might buy it. I did see Naked Cherry on sale like last week. So like maybe someday Naked Honey will go on sale and maybe I'll buy it. But I've honestly never owned a Naked palette. I've owned Urban Decay palettes that I've gotten on sale, but never Naked, which is very interesting, I feel like. I feel like most makeup lovers have at least owned a Naked palette in their life. So fun fact about me. Okay, the next thing I have on my list is Dip Brow. I've never tried Dip Brow. I feel like that's like a very OG YouTube product. I have owned brow pomades. I definitely went through like two L'Oreal ones way back before my YouTube time. I don't think I own a brow pomade anymore. Actually, I own Cabral. I do have Cabral. But for me, I stopped reaching for them because they took too long and I didn't have the patience. However, I never owned Dip Brow. Just a fun fact. I have never bought Estee Lauder Double Wear. I feel like that's a big one. I haven't even really considered it, honestly. The packaging really annoys me just the way, just like how like the Maybelline Fit Me's with no pump, it just really bothers me. I feel like if you're paying that much money for a high-end foundation, it shouldn't, it should have something to take the foundation out with. It just always bothered me that you would have to like buy the pump if you wanted the pump. And I've heard so many mixed reviews, like there's the people that just love their double wear, then there's the people that just hate their double wear. So it's very, it just hasn't, I just haven't done it. The negative reviews have really stuck with me more than the positive reviews. So yeah, I've never ever tried double wear. This isn't a makeup product, but I think this is just like one of those weird things in general. I've never tried anything from Lush. I've never been to a Lush store. I've never seen a Lush store in, in person. The mall near me does not have Lush. So I've never experienced Lush. I don't even think I've ever smelled anything Lush. Probably for my bank account, this is all good. I just thought it was a fun fact that I've never tried any Lush products, bath bombs, all of the things people talk about. I am. Um, a lush virgin so there you go from Too Faced I have never tried their born this way foundation or concealer I feel like those are very popular products but yeah I have tried the born this way loose powder however the foundation and the concealer I've never tried the concealer has interested me more than the foundation however I don't know I just am such a like a drugstore concealer person I don't really see myself ever buying that product, but yeah, another another product I've never owned. Speaking of high-end concealers, I feel like the NARS Radiant, like the creamy concealer, I feel like those are really popular on YouTube. Again, the creamy description has interested me. I've even put like the mini size in my cart before, but I've never bit the bullet. Concealer is one of those products that I can go through very quickly and I just can't make the jump. I've never been able to do it. I just have so many drugstore concealers that I very much enjoy. And when I do go through them, it's not breaking the bank to replace them. So I've never bought the NARS Creamy Concealer. Lorac Eyeshadows are another product I've never tried. The Pro Palettes. I feel like those are very OG YouTube products. I've actually looked at them in Kohl's and considered. 
especially when they had the Beauty and the Beast palette. I know that's not one of their like pro pigment palettes, but like I really considered when I saw that Beauty and the Beast palette, but yeah, I've never bought a Lorac palette. I don't really think I've ever bought anything from Lorac. I've gotten Lorac products from like subscription services, I believe. Nope, I lied. I think I bought a Lorac highlighter from TJ Maxx once. But yeah, I've never tried their eyeshadows. Fun fact. This whole video is just gonna be me saying fun fact, I think. Modern Renaissance, I have never bought that. I actually had never bought any Anastasia palette until I bought Soul Tree at TJ Maxx last year. But yeah, I feel like Modern Renaissance is one of those products a lot of YouTubers have, but I never bought it. It's not a color story that I really am interested in. I don't really like those tones specifically. So I've only bought Soul Tree. I did actually buy Soft Glam as a gift for my mom, but yeah, I've never owned, touched. I don't even think I've ever touched a Modern Renaissance palette, so fun fact. <laughs> oh, I just thought it would be really fun to name a couple brands I never have bought from. Charlotte Tilbury, Pat McGrath. Have never bought a product from either of them, so. I feel like that is not very common <laughs> on the internet. I have tried two Charlotte Tilbury samples, but I've never bought anything. Uh, Too Faced peach products. I've never bought a Too Faced peach product. Eyeshadow, foundation, powder, lip product. I have tried a very tiny sample size of the peach primer, and that's like all I've experienced as far as the peachy products go. I've never bought anything from that line. Uh, Tartlet palettes. I've never bought myself a Tartlet palette. I have purchased one, toasted, I bought as a gift for my mom. There's a theme here. But I've never bought myself a Tartlet palette. <laughs> Fun fact, I've seen Tartlet in bloom in person, I believe. But I've never bought myself one. <laughs> I've never bought myself MAC eyeshadows. There's a lot of eyeshadows <laughs> on this list. But yeah, I've never bought uh, MAC singles. I've never bought a MAC eyeshadow palette. I've seen them in person, once again, but I've never bought them or tried them. I don't even think I've tried MAC eyeshadows that I can think of. This is a drugstore one. I feel like I've said a lot of high-end answers, but the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I feel like that is a very, very popular drugstore highlighter on YouTube. People say it's like a pretty good dupe for like hourglass powders, so I've never tried that. I think I have heard that it doesn't work great on super pale skin tones and that's what's kind of pushed me back from trying it but yeah there's that one last product on here is hourglass powders that goes blush bronzer highlighter those powders the like finishing powders the only powder i've tried from hourglass is their a little sample of their loose powder but i've never tried any of their pressed powders they're so popular they come in the palettes they come in singles like the ones that everyone say are game changers never have tried any of them so yeah, this video was just as awkward as I thought it was gonna be, so, gotcha. But yeah, I thought it would be fun to talk about some of the products that I feel like a lot of people on YouTube own or have owned or have bought and uh, say what I haven't bought because sometimes we feel like we have to buy everything just because it's on YouTube and uh, you don't. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but that's, uh, that's my story. You'll have to let me know if there are any uh, kind of popular makeup products that you guys have never purchased. I assume there are. But yeah, this is the video. Let me know if you like this video. Is there any other kind of video you'd like to see based off of what you learned from this video? Let me know in the comments. And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.